Hey guys and welcome to Dad's Advice. So today we're going to cover the change table. So we're going to go through the setup, the change essentials, clothing essentials, swaddles and backup essentials. If you like what you're seeing, please throw a like and subscribe to this channel. That'd be great, really supports us. And we'll go through everything in this video and more. So please stay tuned. So the top of this table is measured 48 width by 80 centimetres in length. So it's more than ample um, to allow a baby change to take place. So all we're going to get is one of those foam wedges to just make sure the baby doesn't roll around. Um, what you see here is the grow egg. It's just a thermometer for the room and a nightlight. So it just tells you um, some basic parameters around what the current temperature is and if it's too hot or too cold in the room. So it's really good setup and just very, very simple. So let's get to the first drawer. So we've kept this really, really simple um, just to allow for additional space. So just basically the diapers, baby wipes, some oils and moisturizers and some containers just to um, keep it very, very simple. We've gone for an all natural baby wipe that's biodegradable just to keep the plastic out of the equation and we can easily dispose of those in a baby bin. Now for all of the oils and things like that we've gone for a brand called Walida. Um, now that's mainly because it's just an all natural brand and it has really really good reviews so I'll link all of those to the Amazon links below so you can have a look at the product reviews yourself. And finally we've just got one set of Pampers nappies in the top drawer there and we'll uh, replace those as we use Use them up and as we go. So on to the second drawer now where we store all of the underclothes, the baby clothes and the mittens and things like that. I mean super duper cute, I never thought I'd be one to say that but the onesies are so fun to buy and you can get 10 packs or 12 packs of them so that's what we've done. So these are just a, a few little booties and things like that that our friends have given us. This is one of the undershirts that you typically get for one of your babies and it just uh, goes as sort of like a baby's typical under underpants. And then here's our big set of onesies. So we just went and bought a 10 pack of each. Um, so some with some patterns on them and then just some white ones. Now they're just the button up ones um, because we thought that might just be a little easier than the zippers. Um, and each of them has a scratch proof mitten built in on the end. So you just flip that over baby's hand so they won't go and scratch themselves in the face. So we've loaded the drawer up with a few clothes as well um, just to, for ease of access. Now we've got a few t-shirts and a few overalls in here and as a bit of a pro tip if you want to go save some money go to a thrift shop because they sell all baby clothes for such pennies on the dollar and um, I highly recommend this because they are expensive new and they're very very cheap secondhand so let's get on to the third drawer so in this drawer we have all of our basic baby swaddles and burp cloths and also towels. So this is one of the uh, swaddles that we got from a brand called Aiden and A's. So it was started by an Australian lady. Uh, it's a really great cloth. It's really sizable. I think it's about 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters um, and more than enough to uh, wrap your baby up. And it's super duper soft, uh, really nice cotton and uh, they've got some great really cute designs for um, little boys and little girls or just very neutral um, sorts of designs. We went out and bought a four pack of those um, but then we've got a, a bunch of other ones to go along well with it. So this is one of our uh, other swaddles that we bought. Um, I think we bought this as a pack of six um, and it's basically yet another thing to, to swaddle your little baby in use as a burp cloth. Now this is one of the towels. You'll notice the little hood on the head there. So you pop that over your baby's head. You can dry them, dry them all up after the bath or, or shower or whatever. And um, yeah, just again, a really nice design. And here's a little burp cloth um, that you can use to mop up any mess or, or anything like that. Um, great with the little toggle on it so you can hang that from wherever you need. So that's that drawer really covered. Again, we kept that pretty simple because we knew we were going to fill it up with a, a range of other items in the future so when things do uh, fill that drawer up I'll let you all know and um, just to make sure that uh, you're fully prepared so this is the fourth drawer and basically the backup drawer so we've got our additional nappies in here we've got our baby wipes as well we've got some additional nappies that we're going to try out that are sort of all natural ones and just a few things for the hospital bag like enamel toothpaste and 
and also some straws and things like that. And so that's it, guys. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. And yeah, again, throw us a, a like and subscribe if you like the channel. Thanks.